Hey, Dennis, it's a pleasure to have you here at Scala Days Berlin. Hey, it's, it's nice to be here. Yeah, thank you for your time. Um, in your talk, you started with a great retrospective on several development languages, from Pascal to C and to Python until you get to Scala. Right. How could you summarize how things have changed in these last 30 years of computer science for us developers? I think the biggest uh, move in the uh, past, like I would say, 10 to 20 years was trying to make a developer experience a priority rather than uh, just a compiler being like easier to develop. For example, languages like Pascal were also developed with just optimizing language for compiler and guy uh, use case. Now languages are really kind of designed and optimized for the kind of the best uh, safety, the best ease of use for the end developer, and it's a completely different approach to, from what we used to do before. Yeah, good thing about that. Um, See, since some bailing, uh, Scala Native has created great hype in the community. There are many people dreaming of its future uses. For instance, have a Scala uh, code running on iOS, like I told you before. What are your future plans or dreams for Scala Native? OK, uh, so lots of hype. Yeah, I noticed we also got lots of pull requests, lots of people contributing, asking stuff. It was really, really nice. Uh, so my main future plan is to get a first developer preview out as soon as possible. Uh, no promises at this stage, but uh, just track our activity on GitHub and track our Twitter, and we'll let you know when this happens. Like near future plans is to get enough um, base libraries from uh, Java that we are happen to have on Java working, so that you can just pick up Scala Native and basically already know everything you need to know. We really want to make it as uh, friendly and as comfortable for existing Scala developers as, as possible. Yeah, and ideally, do you have any uh, platform in particular? So one of the interesting platforms that we want to target is one of them is iOS. We are really interested in making Scala usable on iOS, but this is a bit more of a long-term thing. So short-term, um, we'll just run on any Nix-like environment like Linux, Unix, uh, Mac, FreeBSD, what have you. Um, and really, it's um, as long as it's Nix, and we'll probably work there. So, and iOS, of course, is Nix. Yeah, really looking forward to it. And last question. Uh, besides the Scala Native, how do you think the future of Scala and the Scala community as a whole will be in like five, ten years? I think uh, in five, ten years we'll be have really mature uh, alternative platforms like Scala Native and JavaScript. They would not be alternative platforms anymore. They will be at least as used as JVM. Uh, lots of interesting stuff is happening on JVM, but I think I have a feeling that uh, JVM will be a bit. Uh, less of a highlight in the future, because Scala.js has showed us that like, there is so much more to the world than JVM, and there is so much we can uh, do if we would just like, run a different platform. And it really kind of, Scala.js, like, for example, changes how you people write front-end uh, web apps. And we hope to do s something similar for native developments in, in Scala Native. OK. Thank you for your time, Dennis. OK, sure. Thank you.